Okay. Well, hey, Coach, thanks for doing this. Uh, question I have uh, to start out with, uh, Bryce Sensenbaugh, just watching him play the other day, uh, obviously we know he was your leading scorer. Bahamas may have been in that scrimmage you had as well. Uh, just seemed like he was maybe rushing through things a little bit at times and getting out ahead of his skis a little bit, and that's going to be normal for all your freshmen. Just uh, what do you want to get out of him? And it seems like his rebounding an area – as his offense is starting to come along, that that rebounding is is an area where he could help you. Yeah, it's it's going to be re rebounding is going to be you know really important for him, Steve. And I think you nailed it. You nailed it with him. I think you know, th those experiences are normal for freshmen, especially guys that you know scoring has come so easy for them. Um, and you know he's a he's a natural born scorer. It's what he does. But uh, I, I do think that. Uh, he's got to let it naturally come to him a little bit more than what he did last um, last time out. Uh, that won't be the last time that we see Bryce struggle in, in some of those areas in terms of uh, forcing the issue. I think he's got to find that balance between staying really aggressive and letting it happen. The big things, uh, I, I don't worry about his scoring. He's going to be able to do that for us for sure. As you mentioned, he's got to be able to rebound and defend um, – at, at a really high level for us as a freshman. That's what we're asking of, asking of him right now. Uh, just as a follow-up, Robert Morris looks like a veteran team. I only yeah. won eight games last year, but it looked like they've got maybe four of their five stars back. Just uh, what have you seen out of them? Have you had anything on them in a scrimmage or exhibition uh, leading up to this uh, first game? Oh. Yeah, they have not been able to see them. They've not. Uh, they don't have any video out right now outside of last year. But yeah, I think you're right. They, they uh, they're expected to be. Uh, what does it feel like? Are we good, Gary? Okay. Yeah, now we're good. I had to get Clay. Clay was uh, mute, unmuted there. We were hearing everything in the back. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So, uh, I, listen. I think uh, it's 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 going to be a good, um, you know, first game for us. Veteran group. You mentioned they have a local young man who played in uh, Kahana that uh, is a very good player for them. Um, and uh, by all accounts, I think they're expected to, to really have a good year. So we're excited about that challenge. And the prep has begun here in these coming days leading up to Monday. Thanks a lot. All right, we'll go with Griffin Strom and then Jared Smalley on that. Griffin. Yeah, Coach, I know you were disappointed in the, the rebounding uh, effort in the exhibition. I'm, I'm wondering, you know, was that also a concern that showed up in your guys' scrimmage? And then maybe, you know, what was your your message to your guys after that? And, and how might you be stressing that uh, differently? Moving you know, it, it, Griffin, it didn't show up as much in the scrimmage. I think it's more, you know, I, I think when you have so many new faces in a young group, uh, you know, you're trying to project a little bit of what you feel like some team weakness is could be really drilled down on those. Um, so it's a, it's a bit of a projection on my part, and it's also been a byproduct of some results in practice and, and obviously this exhibition. I just think team rebounding is going to have to be something that uh, we're going to have to you know, really focus in, in, uh, in on for sure, that as well as you know how connected that is to our defense and getting first-time rebounds. So, um, you know, I, I don't know. We didn't get as exposed in that area um in the scrimmage um there were some other areas defensively that we did but uh i think that's going to be a focal point all year and, and then um your thoughts on on felix performance you know maybe both in the scrimmage and the exit i don't know if you heard a whole lot um, from you about him after the exhibition the other day yeah no i think felix is coming along i mean he's coming along i think we're going to see moments that are are really exciting as as the case with all four freshmen that play I think you're going to see some really exciting moments um you know I think our fans are going to see some moments where they're like wow that is <clears throat> that's a really exciting play that he makes um Felix this combination of size length and athleticism um is um I think is a really special 
I think he's just, he's so um, young in this process as a big kid. And I think it's, he's, he's learning so much and he's going to have to learn rapid pace here because he's going to be, you know, obviously expected to play, to play an important role, but been really pleased with his attitude, approach and growth. All right, we'll go with Jared Smalley with Stephen Means on deck. Jared. Hey, Chris. I think if people saw Tanner last year in the tournament or, you know, they, they saw him play a regular season game, they, they understood his prowess score in the basketball. And if you watch the game of the night, you saw a good bit of that, especially at the end of the half there when he kind of got, uh, got rolling pretty well. Can you walk us through his preseason, the habits that he has that he's been able to bring with him uh, that you think lead to that type of player? Yeah, Jared, I, I think, uh, you know, Tanner had uh, a good night. I, I obviously I don't want to, <clears throat> you know, it was, it was against a, an opponent where, where, um, you know, there was a difference in, in terms of talent. I think uh, as he um, gets to, uh, you know, just a, a situation where we're playing division one opponents um, and obviously, you know, I, I think for him, consistency is going to be key. He, he did struggle. He would tell you he struggled in the scrimmage. And I think what has impressed me about Tanner, among other things, has been the fact that he's serious minded, Jared, in his approach and his focus. And I think he came back with the mindset of, hey, I've got to I've got to be better than what I was, you know, for this group. Um, he's had some moments dating back to the summer where he's been good. I think the consistency, you know, for a guy who's a junior who we're going to lean on going to be really important uh, because he is going to be a guy that we're going to have an expectation of consistency and uh, he's performed really really well uh, in stretches and challenges for him just to perform at that consistent level like we know he's capable of all right and then we'll go with Stephen Means and Patrick Murphy on deck Stephen uh, Chris kind of two things for starters are you expecting to have Justice and uh, Eugene back on uh, Monday yeah, Stephen, I, I don't know at this point, to be honest with you. I think maybe I'd have a better idea. I probably would have a better idea on Sunday. Um, but I, I just at this point, I, I don't know on either guy. I couldn't give you a firm. I really couldn't give you a firm answer on either guy right now in terms of their play on Monday night. And you, you kind of mentioned it a little bit earlier, but you've had freshmen before, you've had transfer before, but have this combination of this many new guys, this many freshmen that you're going to have to rely on in your top eight or nine or 10 rot man rotation. Are you going to remind yourself sometimes to be patient with this? And do you expect that you'll have to do that at various stops along the way, whether it's in the non-conference or especially moving into the conference? Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's no question. I think I'm going to, I'm, you know, I've had to remind myself and our staff of that <laughs> throughout the preseason uh, and throughout the summer. And uh, I think there is, Right. There's a balance there as a coach, Stephen, because there is an expectation of uh, of uh, how uh, we want to work and what our approach needs to be on a consistent basis and, and holding ourselves and our players uh, and our program accountable to that. And yet at the same time, uh, the understanding that many of these guys are going through this for the first time and they're being asked to play a significant role. Uh, in our team, uh, from our four freshmen uh, to to our uh, our three transfers, and we're also asking more of those uh, few returning guys that we have that roles are going to need to increase. So, I, I do think I've had to remind myself of that a number of times. Um, I think I'm also trying to find the balance between driving, um, you know, appropriately driving them uh, to a level of consistency, and yet understanding that. Uh, there's going to be areas that we're just we're just not there yet as a group. <clears throat> All right, we'll go with Patrick Murphy and then Adam Jardy. Patrick, Chris, to follow up on <clears throat> your answer to Stephen's question, just the excitement level of these guys to to play their first real game in college basketball, to play their first game as Buckeyes for the transfer guys and the guys as you mentioned stepping into big roles. What do you get the sense is is their excitement heading into the season opener? Yeah, I think they're really excited. I think they're really excited, Patrick. I think they've, um, you know, they know that uh, um, they have, you know, they've been waiting for this moment. You know, these guys, as is the case in, in most sports, you know, they commit, you know, a year, two years, year and a half out. Um, 
And they've been waiting for this moment. I think there was definitely some nerves the other night, which is a good thing. Um, there'll be nerves on Monday night, you know, for, for this group. Um, uh, more so probably than, than we've ever had uh, just because of so many, so many new guys. But I think they're really excited. They're really excited about wearing the uniform. We've really stressed uh, all offseason about the, um, you know, the the privilege of of that and i know i think they're very aware of of, of that and uh, they're excited they're excited about performing in front of our fans and starting you know this journey together and what about you personally excitement nervousness anticipation what, what would you say you're feeling heading into it given all the newness all that patrick yeah all that certainly all that i think um you know probably uh more of all that uh because of because of the, uh, this group, you know, all, all that wrapped into one, just more of it, um, because when you, you know, when you have certain knowns and, and we we have the last couple of years just kind of had more guys on the roster where you're like, OK, I pretty much know what this what we're going to get from from an EJ or, um, you know, the, the you know, even a, a, a CJ Walker, who's a veteran point guard. So I think uh, more of all that, I think, for all of us. All right, we'll go with Adam Jardine and Spencer Hobart. Adam. Chris, uh, you, you've talked about, like, stressing guys first time that they're going to wear the jersey and really, really emphasizing that to, to these guys. I wonder if you could maybe just expand on that process. And and is that something – I'm sure you talk about that with every team, but was that was that different this year with, with so many new faces? Did you feel that was something you had to emphasize differently? I think it's more just, yeah, there, there's a bit of more of an education to that specific process of um, educating them on, you know, they, they under, they learn about our program recruiting, but it's really about, okay, this is our program. Um, they've seen the success of the program and then also can, what can the program provide for them in terms of creating a great future? I think now that they're here, you're trying to help young people understand that they're playing uh, for something bigger, a larger purpose. Um, and as you move into the season as a team, um, you know, that has been the focus. So we've obviously done what we've always done in terms of connecting them with alumni throughout the summer, um, through our, our pro week, as well as just our alumni being around. Uh, you know, I've asked several alumni uh, to share what their experiences were um, in a, um, you know, in a Buckeye uniform, I'll continue to do that. We've, uh, we're starting to, to have our players, you know, see some of what, what, you know, guys that might've played 10, 15, 20 years ago, um, kind of their experiences. So I think all that is part of the education for a new group and a new team. And, um, I know a lot of programs are doing that just because of the nature of college basketball right now. And you, you said something after the game where you you trying to s stress to guys that there are things that you're going to have to let go a little bit because they're learning, but effort is not one of them. As you've as you've worked on that lesson with guys and as you preach that to guys, do you show examples from previous players, previous teams of of consistency when it comes to effort and, and what that looks like? We have yeah, we certainly have. I think uh, I think as much as now we we certainly have and we will throughout the preseason. We also want the focus to be on this group uh, and specifically these guys that we're coaching. But we certainly have used uh, past examples of of uh, teams and players uh, for sure. Yeah, that that is uh, you know as I mentioned, I think as a coach, I, you know, we cannot complicate this too much with with our group. We have to do simple, and we have to do simple better and consistently well. I think to be able to um, you know, to have a good start and then grow from there. All right, and then we'll finish up with Spencer Holbrook. Spencer. Chris, uh, you guys got three games before you head to the islands. Uh, before you take off on that long plane ride, what do you need to learn from this before you feel comfortable and confident getting on that plane, going to the islands, then coming back and facing Duke on the road? You know, a lot. I think a lot. I think I know, um, you know, People like to, to, to look ahead in terms of what's coming next. And these, you know, for us, it's really about the moment and staying in the moment. And we need to have good preparation tomorrow, uh, good, good practice uh, these next couple of days for Robert Morris. Um, I, I think is, you know, the exciting thing for uh, having a group like this is just what can we, you know, 
basketball is a long season, it's several months, it's six, seven months of a season. So what can we grow uh, into? But if we, if we lose sight of the value of each day, we're not going to, we're not going to have any hope of, of, of getting to where we need to. So I think the key is, is staying in the moment. And the exciting thing about a new group is you really do learn um, even ourselves as coaches who are with them all the time. You really do learn something new about your group um, every day when you have this many uh, new faces and this many young players. So that's a really exciting thing for a coach. You're a really process oriented guy. You like to take it day by day. I think most coaches do, but is it a little easier to do that when you have a younger group? You don't have an EJ right now. You don't have a, a Malachi that that maybe could become a superstar like that. You don't have veteran point guards. Like, is it easier to stay in the moment when you really kind of have some unknowns still? I think it's always a challenge, honestly, to stay in the moment. If I, you know, for myself, I don't want to speak for other coaches, but I think uh, we're just, um, it's always it's always a challenge to not project, you know, what we are today into what it could be or what happened yesterday uh, to to the to the next moment. Uh, I think there's a mental discipline required for that. That's not easy for any of us who are who are kind of into uh, performance and, and and trying to perform at a high level. I think it's a challenge for all of us. It's certainly for me. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll do that with this because I think it's going to be important. All right, Coach.